Hey, what's up? I'm Rachel Starr. Um, it's really funny. A lot of people always want to know, well, Rachel, what's the scariest hallucination you've had? Or describe your hallucinations. You know, what do the monsters look like? The scariest hallucinations I've had are not the, the monsters that I see. Um, and it's hard to describe them. You're like, well, draw them. Well, I can't draw to save my life, so you're going to get yourself a little stick figure. That's... <laughs> Okay, sorry. No, I'm creative in some ways. Uh, artistically, drawing painting is not one of them. I have like this one cartoon character I can draw and that's it that I made up. <laughs> um, and that's not my hallucination. Uh, anyway, so people always want to be like, yeah, what, what's like, what are they like? The scary monsters, like what scary movie is it like? And, and, and there isn't any. But the scariest hallucinations I've had have nothing to do with the monsters. Um, they're distortions. Um, some of you no, don't know, I teach modeling and acting classes to, to students in um, all ages. A very common one that I have to deal with is people's faces being distorted. And it's funny because I've gotten so used to not reacting to things. Um, but there's definitely sometimes, and, and, and it weirds me out, and it's because like when I see a hallucination, I like focus, it's like I can't, it's like I'm locked in on it. So I've had to like train myself when I see one, and I usually see one out of like the corner of my eye to completely ignore it. So I'll have to like go out of my way to avoid making eye contact with certain people because I know my, my, my head's messing them up and, and it's, it's sometimes it's like facial features moved around, but just overall something's off. Um, And this happens a lot in day-to-day -day life. I'll see people, and I know that I know it's not correct. Like what I'm seeing, I know is not correct. Um, it's just like things. It's, it's I don't know. It's almost like hard to understand because it's like things are missing. Um, not last year, but the last when I was in Miami um, for American Ninja Warrior filming with them. Um, There's one point I remember I was just walking on the street. I was like going to find some lunch or something, and I looked down and my hand was missing like a finger. Like I only had it like ended there and it was like the weirdest thing because it's like no no and I'm like ah, wait no I have five, five five right yeah yeah you know it's like you have to go through these weird thoughts in your heads but I'm standing there and even though I know I have five fingers I'm looking down at my hand and that's it like that that's it it's there was no you know it didn't matter that I knew okay and I could have, you know, and I remember just stopping, and I probably, I don't know what I look like to anyone else who was around, but just standing there being like, this isn't right, like, trying to understand what it was I was seeing. Um, so it's like that with other people. Um, I think those are the most disturbing to me, and I don't understand. And when I was younger, people would tell me that was, um, not younger, like a little kid, but younger when stupid people were messing with my head. Um long story, go find the demon, uh, the exorcism demon possession videos, whatever, um, would tell me when I saw that that was demons manifesting and blah, blah, blah. Um, this reason, you know, I can't look in the mirror a lot. I can't, I can't take being in the mirror because, because my own reflection, I can't trust at all. Um, those are by far the worst things that should be normal that aren't. Um, and even when stuff happens in real life, it's funny because a lot of times, like I said, I don't react because I've trained myself not to. If I was like reacting constantly to every hallucination, <laughs> like everywhere, it's just like train myself. So sometimes when things are real and I don't realize it, like I won't react until I see other people react. Like I'm probably like just really calm. And then it's like, people are like, oh my God, did you see that? And I'm like, yes, I did. I just assumed... I was the only one who saw it, so that's why I didn't react. Um, so I was talking to me the other day, like, did you catch when such and such happened? And I'm like, I did. <laughs> I didn't. I assume no one else did, though, because I, I thought it didn't happen. Um, yeah, people usually have to, uh, I won't react to weird stuff until someone else does, so I know I'm not the only one who saw it or thought it. If you're out there and you're going through this kind of hallucinations and stuff, um, first of all, here's what I suggest doing. I always suggest this. Write down, okay, 
write down your hallucinations, identify them, like sit down and actually think, okay, what are the hallucinations that I have? Identify your most common ones. Um, that way, when they happen, you'll be like, and something happens to you, you're like, whoa, wait a second. Common hallucination of mine is, let's say, um, people's facial features becoming distorted. All right? So that person that I'm seeing over there's facial features are distorted. It's probably hallucination. Calm down. Ignore it. Um, Day-to-day -day life, people, you know, in the crowd that you just pass, I see that a lot. It's definitely harder when people are one-on-one -on -one with me. Um, usually I'm very, I'm very sick and that's kind of my um, defense mechanism is I know that, I mean, I guess not defense mechanism, but I don't know, whatever. Um, is that when I start getting sick, I need to get home because I don't need to be out in public. I don't need to be around strangers or even just pretty much not family. And even then at home, I'm like in bed. Um, even my dog Twinkle, I see is distorted when I'm really sick and that's very hard on me. Um, cause I see her in like pieces, not like distorted, like her nose is running away. Like, and, um, it's just hard for me to comprehend what I'm looking at. It's just too much. Identify those things. That way when you do have them, I think it's a lot easier to be like, okay, I've dealt with this before. Let me break it down. It's probably a hallucination. Let me either get away from it if I can, and you might not be able to. Um, let me find a sit place where I feel safe. That could be going to your car. That could be, hey, you know what? I just need to sit down for a minute. Give me a minute, you know, to kind of grasp the situation of what's going on. Okay, and you don't even have to tell everybody, but just say, hey, I really need to sit down for a second. The most common thing I tell people is, um, I'm sick. They don't need to know I'm talking about head sick. I just tell people, I'm, I'm sick. Hey, I need to sit down for a minute. I feel sick. They're like, oh, are you okay? Yeah, I'm just... I just need you know, give me a second. I, I do that at least, you know, three times a day where I have to kind of be like, pace myself. Okay, wait a second. All right. And usually I don't even have to mention it. I don't think anyone even notices. Um, I just have to kind of be like, okay, grasping surroundings, dealing. All right, and we continue on.